back everybody so my next mover review for you is definitely one of my favorites and it is definitely up there um in my all-time favorites so the book of eli also stars two of my most favorite actors ever denzel washington and gary oldman so this movie follows a post-apocalyptic kind of world so 30 years it's been set 30 years after a nuclear war and there is one man Denzel Washington, who is marching across the ruins of, say, the U.S. to deliver a package, or humanity's hope for redemption. And also, at the same time, I nearly gave something away then, also at this time, we've got Gary Oldman, who plays the main villain in this, is also looking for this book. And in this movie, you get to see exactly how much power this book has, and even in real life, this book has a shit ton of power, even now. And I love this movie so much. It's so much well up there. There's, there are many reasons why I love this movie, performances being one. The storyline is not hard to follow in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, it just follows a man who's trekking across the US in a post-apocalyptic world, delivering a package, and will risk death to make sure that that package gets there. And to be fair, he does a damn good job of it in this movie. He is badass. He kind of reminds me of the character he played in Man on Fire, but it doesn't make the difference to me because the the way he is in this movie is absolutely fantastic. The way he fights in this is awesome. The way he moves, the way he talks, the way he does everything. His performance in this is just very, very, very good. And when you get that huge, great big plot twist at the end, which I am not going to mention just in case there is anybody that hasn't seen it, it is a what the fuck moment. That is what it was for me when I first saw this movie. I can honestly tell you that I did not see that coming in any way, shape or form. His performance in this is fantastic. End of story. Gary Oldman being the main villain in this, once again, he plays an absolutely awesome villain anyway. He has been a villain in so many different movies, and this is why I love him as a character. Yes, he does play good roles, but his main, I would say that his main forte is to play villains, and he does it really, really well. In this one, he is a kind of different villain compared to what you see in past movies, but yet he's still very sadistical. He will stop at nothing to get this book. And it's absolutely brilliant. You know, th those two chemistry on, on screen is actually very, very good. I have to be honest with you. The way this movie was shot as well is also another great feature of this. It does have a certain colour tone throughout the whole of this movie. And it works. It really sets a tone in this movie. You get to start to feel as like, actually, I'm actually watching this. As in, like, you, you get into that imagination of, okay, this is potentially how it would be after a nuclear war. And you just, the way they betray this, portray this through colouring of the shots and all that, you really, really get a sense. For me, personally, you really get a sense of what it's like in that kind of world. But that being said, also with the musical score in here, it's not like dramatic, overly dramatic. It's there. But when it is there, it works as well. It really, really does. It just adds to it. Just a bit more. Adds to that kind of, not, I'm, I'm, I want, don't want to say creepy, but it, you can really get this feel that the, the world has basically tore itself apart since this war. And there is a lot of violence. There's a lot of death. And you, that music kind of adds to that tension. People are very unpredictable. You can't really trust anybody in this world in any way, shape or form. And you really, they really put this across in this movie very very well like i said the performances in this are absolutely first class i love the perform all the performances in this mainly from the main two characters the way this was shot the, the coloring in this is absolutely fantastic the storyline is not hard to follow in any way shape or form and i'm willing to bet within the first three quarters of an hour to an hour you will figure out what book they are uh, denzel washington is carrying and the reason why people want this book so much if you've seen this movie, you know exactly what it is. If you haven't seen it, you're in for a really good shock. Not so, not so much for the book, but for the t plot twist at the end. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, 
there was something else I was going to mention. There's so much I love about this movie. I really, I, it's just this movie should have done a lot better, to be honest with you, than what it did. You know, I've, I've read up on the stats. It could have done a lot better. It's not a bad movie in any way, shape, or form. It is up there, well up there in my top ten, to be fair, probably top twenty. It is there. Let me put it like that. That's how much I can enjoy, sit down and enjoy this movie. There was something else that I was going to mention about this movie, which I completely forgotten because there's a lot going on in my head. But I'm going to try and think about it right now. That's it. I got it. Action sequences in this movie. I knew there was something. I just. It's one of those movies where I think about it and when I'm trying to review it, there's a lot going around in my head and sometimes I forget to talk about stuff. So the action sequences in this are absolutely fantastic as well. They are not reliant on CGI, so that's a plus point for me. It's good old-fashioned stunt work and I absolutely love it. Denzel Washington in this kicks ass as normal and he does it in such a subtle way, which is the way of the Washington. And I absolutely love it. It's fucking fantastic the way he does everything in this it's that simple it's absolutely brilliant if i was to rate this movie i would definitely give this a very very strong 10 out of 10 so on that note please tell me what you think put it in the comments down below as normal i hope you all have a great rest of the day whatever you're doing please take care and goodbye